Have you heard about the new update to the Cricut Design Space app? It allows you to upload images and create layers. Now they say it's really easy to use, so I had to test it out for you. I'm gonna be doing this whole thing on my iPad. In Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna click the Upload button, and then I'm gonna say Select from Photo Library. And I'm gonna use this cute little bee. So let's first look at this bumblebee. He has five colors in him. This is important to remember. All right, so click this little X because we don't want to use that background remover. And then we're going to click apply. Now it's asking us, do we want to make a multi-layered design? And yes, that's what we're here to test out the new multiple layer function when uploading images to Cricut Design Space. Now I'm going to click the next button in the upper right corner and let's click on check it out because in the next screen that comes up, you're going to have choices. You can have a clip art image or you could upload an actual photograph style image. You can then choose the output. So do you want it to be a stacked design or do you want it to be sliced so that it's like puzzle pieces that go into each other? Now you can see from the green check marks, I have clip art and stacked selected. For this next part, we want to go to the bottom and click on layers. This is where that number five comes into play. So it's literally asking us, how many colors do you want me to break this image up into? And since we know five is our magic number for this design, I'm just going to click on the five. And then you see the little green check mark show up. And then I can hit the next button. So now this is showing me if I have everything stacked, this is what my design looks like. I can then go click on the next button over to see each individual layer separated. That's kind of a nice feature. But what if I change my mind and I decide I want this sliced? Well, let's hit the edit button and I can now change from stacked to slice. Pick the five again and then hit next. And now when I look at all of these pieces separated, I can see how there's not whole bumblebee shapes. They're all sliced into their separate colors and I would have to puzzle piece them back together to make my finished image. So what else can you do with this? I wanted to check out what was underneath the advanced section because I was hoping this would really help me to refine and define my image. So let's just click on advance and I can change the smoothness, reduce the noise, which is kind of like the blurriness of things. And really when I made that high, I didn't like the end results. So play around with this if you want and change the settings, but really increasing the resolution or the noise reduction didn't do anything that great in my opinion. I do want to mention this function. You can play around with it and look at it, but to actually complete the design and put it on your canvas, you have to be a paying member of Cricut Access, which I am not. And that is why I want to show you a free way to make a layered image. So let's go over to a website I like to use called PNG to SVG. Right off the top, they're going to show you if you upload a photograph, here's the result you're going to get on the right hand side. It's trying to break up the colors into different layers. So you're not going to get something that looks like a photograph. And I think that is one thing that a lot of people just don't understand. So let's scroll down until we get to the drag and drop. And I'm going to click on photo from library. And then I'm going to go grab the exact same bumblebee that I used in design space. So here he is. He still has five colors. Same little bee. Let's scroll down here. And in the first left hand side, it's looking at 
the number of colors that it wants to use. I don't know where it's getting the brown from. There's pink for the cheeks, but it's not picking that up. So I played around with the colors and I tried adding more colors and I ended up just going with four. It just won't have the pink cheeks. So now I'm gonna click the generate button. And you're gonna see that it's gonna generate the output on the right hand side. So the bee without the cute little pink cheeks, that's fine. Now I click download SVG. And you're gonna see the little pop-up on my iPad that says it's downloading this. It's going to my downloads folder. I can even click open in and it will take me right to the folder so I can see the actual SVG file or I can open it in my downloads. There it is. That's the SVG file it created. Now we gotta get that into Cricut Design Space. So let's open up Cricut Design Space and click Upload. Then we're gonna choose Browse Files because remember this time we're not picking an image from our photographs. We're going and finding the SVG file that we just created and downloaded from the PNG to SVG site. It looks like I actually downloaded it twice, so just select one of those. Now you have to name it. So type in a name. I'm just gonna call this B, and then I'm gonna click the upload button in the upper right hand corner. And then you can see my B comes in to the Design Space Canvas. Now you might be wondering why there's the white background. So let's click on the layers button and look, there are four layers over here and the white one is the white background, but also the white of the inside of the eyes. So if I unselect all of them and then just select the white layer, I can delete that. And technically he doesn't have white eyes or white dots in his eyes anymore. What you're seeing is the white through the opening of the black, that's okay. So the point of this whole video was to show you there are free resources out there where you can actually make a better quality layered image. Now, since I know someone's gonna ask, are these SVG files? The answer is no. Even when Cricut Design Space put out their updates, they said you can convert and upload multicolored images into separate layers. If they were giving us the ability to make SVG files in Cricut Design Space, they would have said that somewhere in their information. These images cannot be exported from Cricut Design Space. So no matter what file type they really truly are, they're still only Cricut images if you can only use them with your Cricut machine. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.